I am Natasha Furman. I am 14 years old and I study at Vaganova Ballet Academy. Could you tell us um, how did you start at ballet? What I saw, I first saw my mom dance. She was a ballerina um, and I really wanted to dance like her and she just inspired me. So I followed her footsteps. She gives me advice. She practices with me. She oh, does everything and I'm very grateful. For her. I also had grandma as a teacher also. Oh, she's also, she's also Oh wow. Yeah, she practiced with me when I was a little when I was younger. Um you've participated in multiple ballet competitions. Could you share some experiences that you had? Um well I participated in a lot of ballet competitions. IGP is one of them. And I remember it was actually a very, very funny story when um right before my contemporary piece, I um, I lost a tooth, a baby tooth of mine, and it was the very front one. That was a bit, a bit embarrassing, but it turned out fine. But the competitions were always very fun. I had a lot of experience there with the stage. On the tiniest recitals, I always loved it, and I just wanted to walk on the stage, not think about it too much, <laughs> because that'll always make me more nervous. I kind of learned to take my one chance onto the stage and show my best. Um, now you're a student of the Vaganova Ballet Academy. Could you yes. tell us um, a bit about the academy? I, I was born in the USA. I lived there for 10 years before I moved to Vaganova. Um, it is honestly amazing. I love it very much. Um, it's a bit hard, on it, obviously, but I don't know. I only find it very great that I study there and it, it has always been my dream mm -hmm. to study there. How is your daily schedule looking like? We have the subjects, um, lessons with, yeah, dancing all together in one day. I have to switch from one thing to another really fast. I, my day starts about, well, at 9 a.m. And we have about like four lessons before classical dance. And then that's about mm, one hour and 40 minutes. After that, we usually have lunch. And then we may have modern, we may have carriage or dance class, or just another few subjects of lessons that we have. And then after that, rehearsals, obviously, if uh, we have any upcoming performances. Mm -hmm. And um, what are you rehearsing right now? Um, well, we have uh, a block of uh, ferial, and we've, we're rehearsing that, and I'm rehearsing a doll, a lace doll. Yes, actually, um, when I was in the academy, I, I, I really think the competition is, is huge, because behind one, one place, there's a lot of casts. How can you get the first cast and not be, you know, so personally? I feel like you just have to, you just have to step out there and not hide somewhere. You have to show yourself, and even if you're not um, first cast right now, you'll have to be sometime soon because you're not standing, you're rehearsing, you're showing what that you're working. Yes. No, students at the, at the very young stage, we're already getting used to a professional life because in the company, it's exactly the same situation. So that, that's great, actually. Do you do any, for example, homework at home after all, the whole day at the academy? Do you do extra exercises, maybe? The teachers give us a lot of homework and we have to stay up later. And yes, I do exercises. I mean, we have to because otherwise you won't be prepared for another day. But if you're very, very tired, then you have to rest. Becoming an ambassador on various brands is actually a quite achievement. Tell us how, the, how those opportunities came. They came through me using uh, a lot of their products, their point shoes, Grishko. I'm a Grishko ambassador, which is very amazing. They just offered me to be their ambassador and I took it as a pleasure. <laughs> I'm also a YAGP ambassador, also a Claudia D ambassador. I actually watched her YouTube videos a lot and I just came across um, her account and I and then she reached out to me and sent, sent me some product. What do you find is the most challenging ballet and how do you overcome those challenges? Um, I feel like you have to put in the effort, you have to have the passion, you have to want to do ballet. Yeah, if you don't have the love and passion to ballet, then I feel like you won't achieve what, what you imagine. If you really, really want it, then you'll get it 100%. Yeah, totally agree. But you have to, you have to work really hard for it. You have to practice a lot. Um, and do you have any tips, maybe some tips that maybe you learned in the academy or from competitions or shows? I have learned an advice to never be scared to show what you have. Mm -hmm. And you could always work for it. Don't be scared. 
I feel like you just have to believe in yourself and you have to do good for yourself and not for everyone else. Everyone else can be passionate and don't give up. <laughs> that's, that's perfect advice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.